So I'm now representing also my trade union here. I'm Balázs Nagy Navarro, who is a vice president of this trade union called the Television and Filmmakers Independent Trade Union. It's a quite new trade union has been set up in the, just less than one year ago. Now it's the second biggest trade union in the Hungarian public television. A representative trade union because in the working council elections uh, we got the necessary votes. It's a representative trade union now in the public media and I'm the vice president who is making the hunger stack with my colleague on the Oron Kosavui, who is also a vice president of this trade union and I am also in my capacity as a journalist of public media as a foreign news editor of this public media who is protesting also as a newsman as a citizen also against what's going on and uh, now I'm here in a kind of different position as a citizen, also as a journalist, and as an outraged uh, citizen of Hungary who is protesting against the distortion of information which is going on every day in the public media. And there is two big scandals which just has been highlighted in the last couple of months. One is just in recently, how the public media is uh, distorting information upon the command of the head of the news and his guys. These people are not just violating the current media law, which is actually quite uh, questionable from many points of view, but they violate even the paragraphs of this law, so the paragraphs about unbiased objective information. They lie to the public and they make their lies in the public media. In the last scandal, they tried to make invisible of the image in a news report of the former head of the Supreme Court, and then they just uh, explain it like oh, it was a fatal mistake, a chain of, of, of comments uh, went wrong. But everybody now, I think, realized in Hungary what's going on, that uh, for unknown reasons, somebody said that the former head of charge is not wanted person, or not uh, liked person, a persona non grata for somebody in this television who is in a position to decide what will be on air. And he decided that this guy, in a spoken instruction, which was confirmed by many of my colleagues. They were told that if you make a report, if this guy is there, you should do everything that he cannot appear on the screen. And this kind of spoken command went wrong. Somebody understood it in a different way, like that they, they make it invisible in the very uh, unwelcome technique for a public figure that they make his image like blurred which we use for criminals or these kinds of, or somebody who is personal rights, integrity should be protected. In this case, his personal rights and integrity as a public figure was violated. And it was like uh, highlighted in the media and he also commented this. So this is just uh, one of the cases, which is like, would we say the top of the iceberg. Now the sea level went a bit low. So now you could see more about what's going on below. And this is a day and day violations of the media code, code of ethics, all the media regulations about what I said, that the public should have an unbiased objective information. It's not just not unbiased, it's not just not objective, but it's like really distorted information, sometimes really false information. And we are talking in an EU country, a so-called democracy, where supposedly we have freedom of press. And the public media is run by public money, by my and other fellow citizens' money. And these people with huge salaries, they are just telling lies to the public. And when they are caught on the spot, then they held responsible other people looking for scapegoats. This happened. They made a public media in front of the public media building when the, where the head of news department of all public media outlets in Hungary, we're talking about two television channels many radio channels and internet sites is a guy who made a fast report just before appointing being appointed to this position his former reporter uh, even i wouldn't say reporter but he made some reports uh, in the tv but his position was actually even not a reporter before he came from a kind of radical parties spokesman in called jobbik a few years ago and then he was a kind of uh, press 
person of the current governing part of Fidesz in a local branch. And then he worked in two media outlets which were really close to the rights, Lancid Radio and Echo Television. And even some of them, they would say, very close to the radical right. But this is, would be like his story, which I wouldn't pay too much attention if he's in the public television, would do what a public person and public uh, newsman should do like this, making reports according to the law and according to the Code of Ethics. But the first appearance, which was well known in this media and became even well known in the public, he made a report about Con Bendy, then a Con Bendy, a European Member of Parliament, famous figure who knows history in the 68 events in France. He was one of the students later of the old rebellions, revolution, how we could call it, which went on. He's now a Green Party member of the European Parliament. He was very critical of the current government uh, measures, which they said is against democratic values, values of the European Union, making kinds of decisions which are against the state of law, uh, restricting the power like the constitutional court, having decision new loads like restructuring this, all these kinds of things is like looks like a tyranny or not a democracy. So he made this speech when Viktor Orban as a Prime Minister appeared in the European Parliament as Hungary took over the presidency of EU for half a year. And after this kind of uh, public debate, some parts of the segments of the media in the private sector, it's close to the government or close to the right, they made the, a concentrated campaign against this person, not about so much what he was saying, but much more about his past, and they tried to figure these people, the, the MP members, as a pedophile because he wrote something in his biography, I don't know, 30, 40 years ago, which actually was much more kind of extracts. And he, he said that, of course, it was not nothing to do with the reality. He was just some stupid comments of his young ages, but it was already cleared in the French press. Everybody who tried to uh, attack him, accuse him, he won all the cases in the court in France, but it was not talking about the things he was saying about current hunger and policy. But whatever this public debate about this figure, this reporter made an interview trying to make the kind of understanding that he asked about his past of pedophile, whether he made these comments, and then the guy doesn't want to answer this question and just went out of the press conference which he had here with the one of the political party LMP in the Hungarian Parliament in Budapest. And then a news portal, index, internet portal, he showed, the portal showed all the video, which uh, proved that actually the question was answered quite longly. The question was not, bef not uh, just before he left, but it was like more than half an hour before. And actually he, he said already at the beginning that he should leave because his plane is leaving. But it was cut and he put, made the text as somebody would think that he was leaving when he was putting the question, but he was putting another question when he left. So the in-text side proved that he, he just not made fast reporting, but he manipulated also the video. And despite all these facts, it's facts, I say, because nobody said that it was not true. The company where he was employed didn't make any complaint, didn't ask to correct the article, didn't go to court. According to this, it means that it was true. And this guy, after this false reporting, which was his first appearance in the public media known by for many, he was appointed to, head, to be the head of the news of all public media news outlet in this company. I mean, it tells you, I think, all the story. And the story, to make it worse, this guy is still here. The report was made in April. Nothing happened. This guy is here and he was... He had been appointed just one month ago, or a bit more, or two months ago, even to higher, another position. He's now also heading the Department of Current Affairs and Documentary. So this guy is responsible to make impartial, unbiased, punctual information, according to the law. This guy is decided in the couple of months whom to be fired, because there is a massive layout going on. Now it's the second round this year. Lots of reporters, newscasters, had been laid off and he, according to say, this is the bosses who make the decisions on, of course, objective uh, professional ground. Now, can you imagine what kind of professional decision makes a guy who is 
who is falsificating reports of public media. He's deciding of other people who has been working honestly and according to the professional integrity that they should be laid out. And this is just unbelievable. We are talking about Hungary, EU country, in 1911.